Yeah, well, Reef Rescue has been in place now for some time and, and I've done a number of projects to get better outcomes in both my livestock and for the betterment of the land and what we're, what we're doing with the land. Because there are huge benefits out there for graziers to, to, to carry out capital development on their property. So I, I, couldn't, I couldn't recommend it more highly. I think it's, it's certainly helped my bottom line and, and uh, made, made management a lot easier. Once I realised that what I needed to change, I took that to NQ Dry Tropics and we developed um, like a fencing program, um, extra water programs, uh, where dams would go in, uh, and, and working in with the, the rough terrain of the country is to put them strategically in the right position um, in relation to you know, land types and also the utilisation of the land in relation to where stock would graze. And then by doing that, we've, we have changed um, the property in a, lot, in a lot of areas, in a lot of way it functions and the way uh, better for cattle and also better utilisation of pasture on the place in, in a more even, e even way, which has sort of been beneficial long term. And environmentally, I mean, it, it's helped be able to, to leave a lot more vegetation on, on the ground. We get less runoff and nutrient shifting but therefore the reef will also benefit. To a lot of grazers, the reef is a very important environmental asset that we have, and uh, along with a lot of other environmental assets that we have. I mean, the environmental asset that we have that we're sitting on here, it's all part of, of our existence, and I think most graziers pride it as, as a very important part of their, their operation to maintain it, look after it.